Good morning. I am Gianmarco Vigeri, a nephrologist working at the Gasolini Institute of Genoa. My topics will be a, a discussion of several aspects related to neutrophic extracellular traps or netosis uh, in patients with the incident uh, lupus and lupus nephritis. This video should start. Okay, this video shows the dynamic of natural release from a neutrophil stimulated with bacteria. Here in green uh, is the material that the neutrophil produce after stimulation with, uh, the, with, bacteria, with bacteria in vivo. It is impressive how much nets are produced that gives an idea of the importance of the mechanism. It seems that nets are indeed an extended net that is able to block and destroy bacteria. Today, I'd like to discuss briefly the possibility that nets may be traced in several patients. Uh, and the second point, try to understand why nets, uh, nets elements that are better defined as nets remanent can accumulate in some conditions. Since accumulation derives from an equilibrium between production and removal, we will try to outline the principal phase of a net's metabolism in, uh, in vivo. As a second point, I'd like to discuss the composition of nets and consider whether accumulation and composition nets removal this is a part of metabolism. And uh, the last part uh, in which you will try to outline the composition in proteins of nets. In fact, the presence of DNA and other post-relationally modified proteins is a characteristic of nets that renders uh, net components potential autoantigens for autoimmunity. Levels of NETS remanent were determined in serum patients with lupus and lupus nephritis. Utilizing an ELISA assay for the myeloperoxidase DNA complex. The method consists in blocking myeloperoxidase with the specific antibodies on solid phase and in determining the free edge of the complex with the unconjugated anti DNA antibodies. Serum nets remanent were significantly higher in patients with lupus nephritis and with lupus ER compared to controls and uh, were not correlated with the timing of the disease. Here, patients with a new onset lupus nephritis ER with, after one, uh, one year of disease. And rock curves showed a, an area under the curve very high, both for lupus and for lupus nephritis patients. We studied then ex vivo net production by neutrophils, release of elastase and DNA, obtained from subjects and normal subjection and patients uh, with lupus and lupus nephritis. Re uh, um, in this experiment, resting neutrophils from all the categories uh, were stimulated, were stimulated with, were studied without stimulus here and after sti stimulation with the formal the myelistate, acetate, or PMA. In both conditions, no stimulus and stimulation, the release of uh, uh, nets was lower in uh, uh, neutrophil obtained from lupus nephritis and uh, lupus patients, uh, indicating that in both conditions there is not an increased uh, production. At the same time, and in the same patients, serum DNA's activity was reduced here. The reduction is 
maximal for patients with lupus nephritis uh, compared to control. Uh, therefore, indicating that probably a reduced um, removal of, uh, of the nets is, uh, uh, more, is probably implicated in the accumulation of net remanents. And this is a, a functional activity. In fact, serum DNA is level uh, as determined by an ELISA uh, are uh, similar in patients with uh, uh, lupus, uh, uh, lupus nephritis and control. Here it is shown that net remanents level are correlated with the, uh, the percent of DNA's activity. In fact, patients with uh, low level of net remanents uh, also have a minimum uh, percent of patients with low DNA activity. Instead, patients with high uh, net remanent uh, in most cases are represented by patients with low uh, uh, <coughs> DNA activity, in this case lower than 30%. Moreover, it is of some interest that if uh, 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 sera in which DNA is uh, uh, degradation uh, and therefore the, uh, DNA is, uh, uh, DNA's activity is determined. Um, if these uh, sera are treated with protein A in order to remove uh, antibodies, uh, the uh, percent uh, of uh, DNA, DNA's activity is restored. Here are patients with lupus nephritis uh, after uh, treatment with protein A, a and therefore uh, after removal of antibodies. And here are the same sera before removal of antibodies. This slide gives an idea of the huge number of proteins that compose nets produced by neutrophil ex vivo. Uh, Several groups of patients were considered. Here, lupus patients, patients with lupus nephritis and control cell. Results show quite a number of proteins varying from 500 to 600, uh, with important difference uh, among groups. In fact, uh, many proteins, for example, of the control group, uh, are specific of the control group and so uh, and the same is for uh, the other two groups studied here. These volcano plots show in fact the proteins high in lupus patients here and other proteins high in control cells indicating that there is quite a difference in, uh, in uh, composition. Uh, another important aspect related to protein nets is that in many cases um, they uh, are represented by proteins associated to inflammasome, proteins associated to lupus or other associated with other uh, autoimmune disease. So, it is uh, very important to note that the different expression is related to the autoimmune uh, process. Another important aspect related to proteins in NETS is that in many cases they undergo deep post-translational uh, modification. For uh, example, uh, in some cases they may undergo oxidation or other process. Here is uh, alpha enolase that undergo uh, oxidation in the formation of methionine sulfoxide, sulfoxide in position 93, here in yellow in this, in this line. Uh, finally, here we show the steric 
uh, relationship of proteins and DNA in the net filament. In red here, it is represented uh, uh, alpha enolase, and in green here, it is represented the DNA. So it is very clear that uh, there are uh, a contiguous relationship of uh, DNA with the uh, alpha enolase. So we can undergo to some conclusion. Nets have a complex protein composition, about 500-600 proteins, most of which present post-translational modifications. In Nets filaments, modified proteins such as alpha enolase maintain a sterical interaction with DNA. Circulating nets are increased in patients with lupus nephritis, probably due to an antibody-mediated effect defective DNA activity. And finally, NETS, DNAs, oxidized, oxidized proteins may be new antigen for autoimmunity in Thank you.